What's pumping y'all? Ben here bringing that hot royal family tea fresh from the catastrophic Nigerian leg of the Duchess of Deception's Desperation Tour. I'm talking next level embarrassment for the one and only Meghan Markle. This chick really thought she was going to waltz into Nigeria flaunting her pretend HRH pedigree, soak up some charitable photo ops for the gram, and get treated like an actual esteemed guest. But boy did she get checked into the phantom zone instead. I'm cackling just revisiting the footage fam. We got Megan swaggering into this event venue already oozing her usual repulsive arrogance and self-importance. Strutting around in one of her trampy signature looks like she's the second coming of alleged royal on a diplomatic visit. Except in the real world outside her delusional mind palace echo chamber, no one in Nigeria gave a singular F about her played out, I'm a duchess routine. The shade and disrespect she faced was just chef's kiss. So... I know you are excited for more, but before we delve into the tumultuous waters of this revelation, if you haven't already, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. You won't want to miss the explosive content we have in store. So now it starts with this random greeter dude, decked out casually in a t-shirt and shorts, suddenly appearing to welcome him in. But here's the iconic moment. He didn't even acknowledge Megan's presence, straight up ignored her rude ass and started speaking directly to Harry about taking a seat. You can see the camera focusing in on just Harry's face as this Nigerian was like, you have a seat over here. Not a single head nod, gesture, or even glance towards Megan. I'm sure she expected him to drop into a deep, groveling bow upon meeting the great duchess and her princely hang-on. Instead, Megan got put in her place before they even really started, having to stand there like a scolded puppy watching her bodyguard or husband get invited in before her. Her facial expressions were hilarious. That signature smug smoke slowly draining as the humiliation set in. How dare this peasant not worship every molecule of air I'd displace with my regal presence? You can actually see the wheels turning in her deranged mind wondering what trans she committed to offend the hired help. Then when her arm spastically shoots out to shoo Harry away so she could rectify the mistake of being second fiddle on her own vanity tour. Absolute comedy gold. Reminding everyone who's the true boss and grain-brained mastermind orchestrating their farcical. We're humanitarian scam. Harry, whipped as ever, obediently plays faithful lapdog and gestures for Meghan to go first into the event like the subservient servants they are. Imagine having such little self-respect that you meekly follow wifey's every degrading demand, even after being rudely upstaged yourself. What an eunuch. Of course, Meghan expected this greeter rando to turn tail, bow down and roll out the literal red carpet once she forcefully inserted herself back into the equation. But homie wasn't having it. He pretty much looked her up and down dismissively, shrugged, and carried on like she was some pesky nobody. The look on the Duchess' face cycled through about eight different shades of enraged bewilderment. Who is this uncultured oaf treating me, an actual princess, with such disrespect on my own humanitarian tour helping pause? You could actually see her scanning the room for cameras to play actor too, making sure she wasn't deprived of a single photo op for her three remaining Insta-fans to fawn over. Relax, Megs, no one in Nigeria cared about your struggled pout headliner routine. Speaking of which, how effing lolo was it to see the production value you around this event? Like these cringe-worthy amateur cell phone videos and shockingly disorganized vibes can't just be an unfortunate coincidence, right? Nitra literally could not have made it more clear if they tried that they weren't rolling out the red carpet for these two grifters. Between the janky camera setup seemingly held together with duct tape and extension cords, the lack of any professional photography allowed, and the hilariously casual who hired this unkempt roadie. Outfits the staff were rocking. I'm certain those never-complicit energy beams were burning massive holes in the backs of Harry and Megan's skulls. This clearly wasn't the lavish, posh experience the deluded Duchess had been brainwashed into expecting. No golden thrones or swooning crowds of impoverished Nigerians ceaselessly singing her hosannas as an uber-wealthy American capitalist blessing them with empty platitudes. Even the introduction banners looked like they were printed out as strip mall FedEx Kinkos with Megan's name just squeezed in as an afterthought. Woman in leadership Nigeria, the real stars of the show. Oh, and co-hosting is some zealous celeb calling herself the Duchess of Overseas or whatever. Can you imagine the imploded pout and smoldering fury radiating from Megan's contour mask, being so close to her ultimate dream, headlining an entire nation under the sacred pretense of humanitarianism, only for the Nigerians to casually treat her like an irrelevant, exhibitionist, hallmark channel actress crashing the party? You just know she was breathing heavier into Harry's ear too. 
seething about how dare they not worship me as the divine humanitarian I am making them out to be. That telltale deranged throat strain emerging whenever her ego suffers the most minute of emasculations. As for the crinny demon possession video, I'm sorry that the visceral reaction from that one audience lady had me dead. Like when Megs and her circus walked in, this poor woman spastically starts crossing and blessing herself as if an agent of Satan had arrived. The horror and revulsion screaming from her body language. Was she overcome by the dark aura radiating from Megan's Burberry coat dress fresh off the sweatshop assembly line? Or did the telepathic signals blaring from the Duchess Titanium hairsprayed wig send this Nigerian's spiritual intuition into full deafpun PTSD mode? I don't know what demonic energy she sensed in that room, but her freakout said it all. So there you have it folks, just a beautifully emblematic debacle encapsulating why Meghan Markle is despised globally by anyone not subsisting off her highly curated cult of psychophancy. People see through her hijacked humanitarian branding on these delusional vanity tours. They know exactly what she's peddling, not real aid or substance, just cheap relevancy and grifter status chasing. And Nigerian locals firmly rejected her tired, overproduced philanthropic routine. No amount of overly contrived outfits or brokered appearances could disguise Megan's glaring insecurity and complete outsider status in the real world beyond her multi-million dollar gated mansion bubbles. So save at this moment, guys. It's not often we get to revel in the authentic off-script humbling of a deluded, out-of-touch narcissist like Mrs. Markle. Where the mask slipped completely, and she got the verbal and social beats she so rightfully deserved from everyday folks seeing through her facade. Go ahead and spam those crying laughing emojis in the comments too. Cause every time Megan gets checked in public for her lack of humility and bold-faced lies about helping people, an angel gets its wings. Or just a small petty part of me finds inner peace in the world, haha. <laughs> As for Harry, someone get that boy a fresh cup of latte from Starbucks and a bi-weekly therapy session covered under Medicare or something. Yeesh, a palpable PTSD radiating from him looked worse than most of my combat vet buddies. No joke, I think one exposure to Nigerian side-eye fully decoupled any last vestiges of his fragile masculinity. The future looks bleak, but let's enjoy the present by toasting to more beautiful PR disasters ahead for the Duke and Duchess of Delusion. Next time she goes on some vanity tour for clout, hopefully the villagers pelt her with unripened fruits in the village square. A much-needed reality check for such an embarrassing, out-of-touch charlatan. So, what do you think will happen next in this Sussex's saga? Well, only time will tell. But don't worry, I'll be back soon with more scalding hot tea. But before closing in, you know the drill, like, subscribe, and share this video to spread the word. Until next time, folks. Bye for now.